What right do I have to talk about feminism? Nah, <laughs> next. Get out. Like, but you do. I know, I know, I know everyone does. Oh, hey. Hey, hey. And size become a part of our everyday lives in the future. The future, the future. Hi guys, so welcome to the third F word video. I'm here with the lovely, intelligent, and oh. all round great guy, Keep Andrew. Um, and tonight we get to talk about male feminists, which is really cool. Ooh. Um, but first things first, what is uh, your definition of feminism? My definition of feminism is group of people that have come together to try and elicit or make equality. Do you consider yourself a feminist? Yes. Yes. Why do you need feminism? I think the world needs fe feminism. I think the world just needs equality. What is uh, your definition of, of the patriarchy? I, I like that question. Mm -hmm. I think the patriarchy is like, basically look at our government at the moment. You look at our minister for women who thinks he can do a better job than an actual woman. What a joke. We live in a world that we like to think is equal, but it's not. So that's the patriarchy. Which is why I think we need feminism. Yeah. To combat the patriarchy. Yeah. Cool. Combat's an interesting word though, but I will get back to that. Sure, well you can talk about for it. Would you use another word? I don't know, but one of the like the biggest things with feminism that I've not struggled with, but um, at times gone, whoa, is that that combativeness? Yeah. And that, like, I think, no, combat's probably the right word, but I think it's more that, like, the thing that has sometimes in the past scared me about feminism is when it's sort of, like, just, you know, forced upon you. Mm -hmm. And I think that's with any ism, you know, yeah. all the isms. As soon as, they, as soon as it becomes combative or, like, you know, that's, that's, it's like trying to fight fire with fire. Yeah. yeah. You know, it's like, that's the thing that, that can be of worse, but anyway. I can totally understand that you read some articles and it, they are quite full on. And also I can understand why they are because, you know, women are dying. Yeah, exactly. Like and that's really the get... other thing, like, with, how else can you get through to someone without sometimes being like, you're a fuckwit. Yeah. Like, you're totally wrong. You're feminist if you go to a Jay-Z and Beyonce concert and you're not like, mm, I feel like Beyonce should get 23% less money than Jay-Z. Uh, also, I don't think Beyonce should have the right to vote. And why is Beyonce singing and dancing? Shouldn't she make Jay a stake? I'm sure he's very <laughs> tired after walking and rapping those two songs. How long have you identified yourself as a feminist or like, you know, done feminist things or whatever? See, that's the other thing, like, when I say I'm a feminist, I just class myself, I'm quite a passive, like, mm. I don't think I'm a very good feminist. And I think that's something I can work on, I mm. think, as well. A lot of people can work on. But how long have you kind of, I guess, been conscious of, like, gender equality and that is an issue and that sort of stuff? I, th I think around uni. Mm -hmm. Like, um, I don't think I was conscious at all of it during high school or even mm. primary school. Like, and I think that comes back to basically, like, growing up in the patriarchy um, and being a guy. Mm. But I think, you know, during university, maybe um, spending more time with girls and women that were quite intelligent and, you know, really, not that they weren't at high school and stuff, but, um, you know, that were really quite active and then would start talking about it. And then you go, what is all this stuff? Like, all right, come on, like, what are you, like, yeah. what are you talking about? And then you go, oh, and then you start realising more and more that it's just so ingrained in the world that we live in. Mm -hmm. So I think that kind of, and like, and around that kind of age as well, you know, when you get a bit older yeah. and you start actually questioning things, you don't just kind of go, okay. oh yeah, this is the status quo, I can just go along with everything and it's fine. And you actually start going, wait a minute, that's, that's not right, like, that's kind of wrong. When I did uh, the first video with um, Annabelle and Sarah, we were talking about how... That's so good, they're good. <laughs> Oh, they're amazing. Brain. Oh my gosh. And animals. Oh, good brains. how a couple those good brains. things. Good brains. Good brains. Good brains. Good good brains. brains. <laughs> we were just talking about how, so from this very beginning, the like official beginning of feminism, yeah. there were men in there as well. Yeah. And, you know, I don't know any facts, but I would be fairly confident to say that there's always been male feminists. Yeah. Um, but why do you think it's, I guess it's this like new modern thing that uh, men and specifically like uh, male celebrities have come out and you know been publicly mm. you know coming out of their 
gender yeah. equality. I'm a feminist. I'm a feminist. Yeah. Which I think is great. Um, yeah, but yeah, why yeah. do you think that, like, it's very much a recent thing, like I would say the last few years. Why do you think it's this time? I read an interesting article about this as well, about how when men come out as being feminists, they're sort of like praised. They're like, oh, what a guy. You know, yeah. like, I'm a feminist. Like, And then there's this... There's this thing where, you know, when women are, I'm a feminist, instantly people, people like, go, oh, my God, like... And that that also scares me about being like, yeah, I'm a feminist, because then people go, oh, like, you're just jumping on the, the bandwagon or something. Mm. And I don't know what the answer is, you know, like, why are they why are they all doing it? I mean, it's great if, if they all are yeah. all doing it, but... No, if, even if guys are just jumping on the bandwagon... It's great, like, like good yeah. bandwagon. Yeah, like, exactly. Yeah, like, like, great bandwagons, general. Yeah, good bandwagons. <laughs> I think so. I think that's the other thing that scares me now, though, is that um, the social media sort of side of it and, like, mm -hmm. the, the phenomenons and this thing about how you're never going to be able to please anyone in the world. Like, when I read that thing about um, the, the celebrities coming out being feminists and people were like, you know, Oh, the man, like, they're yeah. just jumping. I was like, oh, well, you're sort of damned if you do and you're damned if you don't, you know? Like, if you're like, no, I'm not a feminism, a feminism, I'm not a feminist because of these reasons, people are like, why not? And then if you are, then you still attack. So yeah. there's always going to be someone that can sort of see the bad in something or someone that's going to be, yeah, mad at you, but yeah. I guess you got to, I guess you got to try like, doing something. Yeah. Like. Mm. Would you think um, that your role within feminism, um, or even just how you identify yourself as a feminist is different because you're a boy or a man. Yeah, I think so, and I don't, I don't, I really don't know what that role is. Like, I don't, I don't really know what it is to be a male feminist. I don't know what to do. Is it just? Well, I kind of have an idea, mm. like you know, just be nice to people and treat people as equals. But how? Gosh. And then the, how do you go about, you know, doing all of that stuff and not coming across as just jumping on the bad wagon and. You know, how, how do you go about it all? And it's, it's such a big thing. How do you be more of a, an active rather than a passive feminist? Is it just stuff like picking your mates up on little things? Yeah. You know, is it just sometimes... And that's like one of the hardest things to do as well, you know? Because it is, a lot, it is quite hard for a lot of women even, but especially men, to say, I'm, I'm a feminist. Like, yep. it seems like it's this taboo word. Do you think... For men, that it is because it, there's that grey area where it's like you're in this movement that, while you know, I personally believe still fights for men's rights as well, mm. but it is predominantly for women's rights or looking at um, like feminine rights and that sort of thing. Do you think, you know, less guys are likely to kind of put that label on themselves because of that grey area? I think so, and I think you know, there's always this thing of you know the people, the people in power, like. It's the hardest thing to give up that power. Like, why are they? Why would that? You know, why are you going? Like, you've got the power. Yeah. Like, hold on to it. You know, I think as the more and more they start realizing that it is affecting them because it is affecting everyone, mm. then the more, you know, willing I guess that would be. The first time someone was telling me about um, like the not all men sort of stuff, mm -hmm. and I remember getting really angry. I was like, yeah, like that's right. Like I'm not one of those guys. Like, and then. And that got me, like, got me a bit worked up, and I remember, like, talking to a couple of mates about it, being like, this is, like, bullshit, blah, 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 And I was kind of like, no, I feel like, I feel like I'm a feminist at that point. Yeah. And it kind of almost, like, threw me off until I had, because I had good, like, female friends that were, like, very intelligent and very well-versed in feminism who, find, like, you know, sat down and yeah. had a chat about it, and, like, then I could understand, you know, I could see... And then I went, oh yeah, like that's completely right. I, yeah. I was completely missing the point, but because it was kind of, I don't remember how I did it. I read a Facebook post or something that was very like, whoa, because it was so much like that. My instant reaction was to like push away as much as I could, yeah, and not try and see any reason. But in, because I had, you know, people around me that were willing to take the time to maybe discuss it in a different way. Cheers. Cheers. Thank you. Thank you very much for coming. Um, and we'll see you next time. Bye. See you later. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye, -bye. Bye, -bye. Bye, -bye. Bye.